everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm taking your remaining month of uh, May reading start from the 22nd through the 31st of May 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces. So let's see what's coming up for my fishies for the remaining month of May. Um, I will be taking out uh, oracle cards in this reading so yeah stay tuned and um, before I get into the reading let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the messages that resonates with you in your situation and leave the rest for personal readings you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box and you can also follow me on instagram where i do upload daily readings uh now you can also check out my other channel where i do upload uh, readings in hindi so um uh, hold on so uh you can always uh you know check out that channel i will add the link to that channel in the comment section and um if you like it you can also become a part of my that youtube family especially if you want to have the readings done in hindi uh, or if you want to hear the readings done in Hindi. So yeah, um, let's get started. So my fishes are already starting off uh, the remaining month with Ace of Cups. So you are going to have some sort of good news coming up for you, which is going to make you feel very fulfilled emotionally. You are going to feel very satisfied. You are going to feel very um, content with whatever that you're going to have in the remaining month of May. I feel like you know, some sort of unexpected offer or some sort of unexpected good news is going to come your way in the remaining month of May, especially in the beginning of the week. Um, for some of you, you're going to feel very fulfilled. Whether you have something of, uh, you know, uh, uh, whether you have something to celebrate or not, you are going to have that happiness coming from within you. So, um, but yeah, I do see my fishies very satisfied emotionally internally which is the which is a good thing for sure let's find out more about it let's see what else is coming up for my fishies for this uh, remaining month time <clears throat> you might be uh, getting some messages from a person unexpectedly as well you might get some uh you know feelings expressed from a certain someone as well you know that that too is going to happen very unexpectedly because with the, with the with the ace of cups it's always like you know the universe is bringing you something that you deserve in abundance so when it comes to ace of cups it's, it's like you know you are getting the emotional fulfillment out of nowhere and again for some of you it's going to come from within you for others of you it's going to come from an external source so uh let's see more cards wow star so, um, you've been hoping and wishing for this. For majority of you, it's going to be, um, it's going to be definitely somebody reaching out to you, expressing their love and feelings for you. It can be somebody from your past, it can be somebody new, it's going to be different for different people. But yes, I do see some sort of love offer coming your way, which is definitely going to, um, <clears throat> which is definitely going to add to your happiness, emotional fulfillment for sure. And again, this is something that you've hoped for. This is something that you wished for. And it's going to happen in the, in the very beginning of the remaining month. Like, you know, 22nd is the time when I'm recording this video. Plus it's, you know, the reading starts from 22nd through the 31st of uh, May. So definitely the, the first two, three days are going to be the time when you're going to receive some sort of offer uh, you know, expression of love coming from a person, that too is going to be um, unexpected. So for those of you who are completely single and who have no ties attached to somebody from the past and they really want to move move on with their love life with someone new, maybe you are going to meet somebody out of nowhere who is going to be like, you know, the, 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 the person for you, who is going to be like, you know, uh, who is going to give you the emotional... Um, I feel like, you know, if it is somebody new, then this person is going to be somebody that you're going to feel connected instantly. Um, the vibe that this person is going to have will be very, uh, pretty much like a uh, water sign for sure. So it can be Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio, or if not, then this person is definitely going to be very emotionally deep. Somebody who, who loves deeply if and when they do. So, um... But it can be coming from us, you know, um, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancerian. And um, it 
it can be coming from an Aquarian as, as well. Somebody who belongs to the sign of Aquarius. <sighs> if it is coming from a sign of Aquarius, I would, I would, uh, you know, it's, it's like, um, the relationship could be very intense. You know, it, it could be very intense. If, if it is coming from a, a you know Aquarius because it's gonna be like um, the person is going to go so much in depth it's it's like um, if this person is going to be you know Aquarius I feel like you know um, even though there will be this like you know the the immense kind of love coming from this person but there are always one or the other issue that you have in in, in that you know connection uh with pisces and aquarius there there is always you know one issue or the other especially when it comes to the you know um bringing this connection to to the to the to the you know the final stages like you know if if you uh, you know if if you believe that this relationship is the ultimate thing for you it is not going to get materialized easily it's it's always have some like you know uh some issues one way or the other for some of them it's like you know the the there will be age gap for others of them there will be some financial issues for others of them so it's it's going to be like you know if, if it is an aquarius i would suggest you to just not um just not you know um i feel like you know there would be love immense kind of love pure love but at the same time, there is always something not so right with this connection, like, you know, the Aquarians and the Pisces. So, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be very intense. But at the same time, the ultimate, uh, you know, the ultimate thing that you desire in this connection would be like, you know, to, to materialize it to something, uh, something a uh, long term. It's not going to be an easy thing for majority of you, but it can happen. Maybe you, you, you know, maybe you can make it work. But for majority of you, the, you know, the, that combination is very uh, um, rare to manifest into something, um, something long term without any sort of, you know, issues into it. Because there are always like, you know, even though the Aquarian is going to be very kind and generous to the Piscean, but um, and maybe they are going to be exactly the way the Piscean desire. But at the same time, um, it's like, you know, there are always some issues one way or the other. So, um, let's take more cards. Let's see. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune and Knight of Wands. There's a strong possibility of an Aquarian person entering in your life. Be that somebody from your past, be that somebody new, um, or the water sign, Aquarius or the water signs. Um, but yes, whoever it is going to be, is going to be somebody who's going to love you a lot. But beware of the uh, the hardships that might come along with this connection, uh, you know, especially when it comes to, you know, taking this connection to the next level. Uh, not in terms of like, you know, not this person doesn't want you, want to, you know, commit to you. It's not going to be that kind of a thing as it has been for majority of the, the Piscean and Scorpions. Uh, but it's going to be like, you know, the other issues, the family issues, the age issues, the religion issues, those kind of things are going to be a part and parcel of this connection. So, um, but yes, when it comes to, you know, give and take of emotions and, you know, love, passion, excitement, that's going to be mutual in this particular connection that you're going to have with the specific someone. Uh, let's take more cards about this person. Let's see what else. Uh, we can find for you know for uh, for my fishies about this person. Who is this person going to be? Who is this person going to be? Who is this person going to be?
for majority of you, I feel like it's going to be the person who has been, um, I feel like you know, there, there will be definitely some sort of a difference between the two of you. Uh, social dis uh, difference, um, um, religious background could be, a dif you know, could be an issue too in this connection. But whatever the case may be, I do see this connection manifesting into something beautiful, something long term. So it doesn't matter if it's an Aquarian or it's like, you know, it's it, the maybe the road to this, you know, emotional fulfillment that you're going to be having with this person could could be slightly tough. But eventually it's going to it's going to come true. It's going to come true for, for the two of you. So whoever it is that is, you know, coming in your life during this time, whoever it is that you're going to, you know, have coming the love offer from, be it at the Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius or any other sign or can, uh, Scorpio as well, whoever it is going to be, um, there will be this uh, strong, passionate love coming from this person towards the fishies. But um, yes, for for majority of you, there will be certain hardships that you're going to have in taking this connection to the next level. Uh, especially if this person and you have some sort of... Uh, but, but the good news here is this time around, be that a scorpion that you are dealing with, be that any other sign that you are dealing with, who you've been having on and off relationships with. This time around, when you're coming together, there is not going to be any one difference between the two of you, which is going to be like, you know, you know, this person is not giving you time or this person is not, give, uh, you know, ready to take this relationship forward. It's going to be more of the external, you know, energies into this, you know, connection. It's not going to be coming from your person. Whoever it is that, that is coming back in your life or that, you know, whoever it is that, you know, be that somebody new, whoever it is that is entering in your life is going to be so sure that, yes, they want you. They are not going to uh, wait to get into a committed relationship. They would love to be yours. So I don't see this time around, whoever it is that, you know, whoever this person is, they are so sure that you are the one they want to be with because they have wish for you. They have hope for a person like you. So there is no question and doubt in their attachment and their love feelings that they have for you. Be that somebody from your past, somebody you've had on an off relationship, whoever this person is, this person and you don't have any, um, you know, difference of opinion regarding this connection. You really both want the same thing this time around. But yes, I do see, be that, you know, somebody else or, you know, the water sign, I do see that there will be certain, you know, issues coming from the external, you know, factors, external people. Maybe the families are going to have some sort of, you know, um, uh, some sort of like, you know, difficulties are going to come through for the two of you in taking this connection to the next level. So, but the good news, again, the good news is this time around, whoever this person is who is entering in your life is ready to give you what you want. So eventually that's going to happen. But like I said, the road to this, you know, um, fulfillment that you seek in this connection is not going to be as easy as you would like it to be. Um, but yes, for, uh, for, um, for majority of you, the good news is like, um, you are definitely having this, uh, love that you've always wished for. So it's like, you know, um, even like, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a different, it's a different kind of feeling, you know, when you know that the person that you love, loves you back, even then, you know, if you have to face some hardships in this connection or in the road to, you know, your journey towards like, you know, to the fulfillment, like, you know, getting married or something around those lines, even if you have some hardships, you, you will be okay dealing with them because you know that the person is not giving you any hard time while, you know, being on this, uh, you know, road to the final destination of your connection. So it's, it's going to be like, you know, that kind of a feeling. You will have the emotional fulfillment because you know that this person equally loves you. This person equally wants to be yours. This person is equally, you know, um, plus the, since you are so sure, they are so sure, you will have this, you know, sense of satisfaction from within because you don't have any doubts or fears around this connection. Yes, there will be certain issues that you will be having because of different reasons, but at the same time, you both have this satisfaction that you have met the soulmate. So you know that you are destined to be together. You know that you are going to be together, you know, finally and, you know, uh, forever. But, but yes, the, there will be certain issues that would come uh, along, which you both would be more than happy to face because you both have strong passion and love for each other. So which is a good sign again. 
So um, let's take Oracle card now. Let's see what the Oracle has to add to the reading for my fishies. Mm. Do I need to take a card for for the kind of issues that you might have in this connection? Let's find out what would be the thing um, that you might be having or dealing with when it comes to this connection. Why would it be you know slightly different or difficult for some of you? What would be the difficulties that my fishes would be having in taking this connection to the next level? The tower paired up with two of pentacles, the moon, ace of wands. What is the tower? Like I said, there's like you know there is this sense of assurity uh, in this connection coming from both the ends, you and your person. But there will be some external uh, force or source which is going to be like uh, affecting the the ultimate step that you want to have in this connection. Um, but again, eventually you are going to be you know having a new beginning with this person, having the the star or the the ultimate happiness that you seek. But what is that going to be? I'm going to try just one more last time because maybe, you know, whatever it is, because I haven't picked up with these cards here that what the issue would be. It would be different for different people. But whatever the issue is going to be, like I said, it's going to it's gonna go away. Uh, plus, it's not going to affect the connection and the bond that you sh do share together. So whatever it is, it's going to eventually go away. So you, you don't have to worry about it. But at the same time, if we could find out like you know what it would be like um then maybe you would be able to deal with it in a in a better way but since as of now we have not figured out with the energies that are coming up it's it's more like you know with the moon card again it's it's something which is not ready to show up maybe it's going to be different for different people that's why or whatever the reason may be um but i do see that you know whatever it is it's going to fade away it's going to go away and uh, eventually you're going to have that beautiful new uh start together Let's see. <clears throat> okay, one energy I'm picking up is uh, it could be something around the um, financial situation of the connection. Like, you know, maybe um, there will be uh, this difference of uh, social status between the two of you. Or if not, then... Um, <clears throat> There could be some news regarding um, for very few of you, maybe your person will have to travel because of their work. That could be the case for some of you as well. And maybe that's going to delay, you know, uh, you getting married to this person or you getting committed or engaged to this person. That could be the case for some of you as well. So uh, it's going to be different for different people, but that's what I picked up. So uh, again, whatever it is going to be, it's going to fade away. Uh, whatever the delay that's going to happen in this connection, like materializing it to the, you know, to the, to the one thing that you want, getting married or engaged, I feel like you know, it's going to be like uh, something uh, which is going to come out of nowhere, but again, go on its own. So it's, it's going to like, you know, it's going to take its due time, but it's going to go. So um, let's take one more card. From the Oracle deck, let's find out what we have from our fishies for this remaining month time. Possibility. Raise your uh, standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. For some of you, again, like I said, there could be the distance uh, difference between the two of you as in terms of like social status. It could be that. Um... And maybe, you know, either one of your family is, you know, either one, you know, the, there could be some sort of, you know, issues coming from the family of the person where, you know, they are going to say that, you know, maybe you need to uh, have more of uh, financial stability before you could marry my daughter or my son. So that could be one of the reasons why the de there will be delays. But again, when it comes to the connection that you share together for each other, it's not going to be... Uh, it's, it's going to be the best thing that you could feel and experience in, in the uh, 
in the recent times because you have never felt this emotionally satisfied where you know that this person belongs to you and you belong to them and then if you have to wait you are going to be more than happy to wait for this person because there will be no uh you know this uh um fear or doubt if it's it's, it's ever going to come or not because you know that the person belongs to you you belongs to them so there is this you know sense of satisfaction so there might be certain delays but you both will be emotionally satisfied with this connection that you share during this um, time as well. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Come and go for my fishies for this uh, remaining month of May time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you are willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.